الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري واحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله من الله سبحانه وتعالى increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters, we'll do a little bit of revision, inshallah. Uh, 43, page number 43. Huh? Exercise number 2, Ikra Waktu. Huh? What I would like you to do, brothers and sisters, in the initial stage of our learning, uh, use the highlighters as much as you can huh? to differentiate between Muftada and Khabar. And also use pencil to separate Muftada and Khabar in the sentence. For example, if I say Hadal Waladu, brothers and sisters, I want to put a line here. Huh? What, what did I do? I separated Khabar from Muftada. Then Zalikal Waladu, I put a line there. What did I do, brothers and sisters? I separated them. Huh? So if you do like that, it will help you. Then you will not say Khalidin or Khalidan. You will not say. Is there a half chair? No. So why should I say Khalidin? It has to be Khalidun. Huh? So but the first uh, question is Hazal Waladu Khalidun. So what is Haza? Bhaptada. And Al Waladu. Why? Because it is Ismu Shara has come. And followed by a noun. So whenever ismu ishara comes, followed by a definite noun with al, that definite noun will be the badal, substitute. And we will have lots of examples from Quran. Okay. So what is khalidun? You put a line. Then what is khalidun? Khabar. Okay. Khalidun is khabar. Okay. Now remember, I'm going to ask every one of you. So be prepared for answer. Wadalik al waladu. Sister Salma, can you tell me what is Zalika al Waladu? What is Zalika? Muftada. And what is Al Waladu? Al Waladu is Badal. So put a line there huh? and keep the Khabar separate. Are you with me? So where is the Khabar, Sister Salma? Muhammad Dun. You will say Dun. Huh? Muhammad Dun. Okay? Sister uh, Abir, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. Hazar Rajulu. What is Haza here? Ismushara. Muftada. 
Yeah? And what is Ar-Rajulu? Badal. So where is the khabar now? Mudarri Sun. So put a line before Mudarri Sun so that you separate it. Huh? Are you with me? And then, Vazalika Rajulu, what is Zalika? Muftada. Badal, and where is the khabar? Mohandisun. Mashallah, excellent. Huh? Okay, Sister Sukhaina, Hazal Kitabu Jadidun. Can you analyze it? Yeah? Masha. Masha. Mamtas. Excellent. May Allah increase you, all of you in knowledge, and brothers to us also, all of us in knowledge, inshallah. Sister Naima, Hazi Sayaratu. Li Ali Yin. So Li has come as a harf jar. Now the noun has to be Majru. Huh? Okay, sister. So what is where is, where is our Muftida? Hadhi. And what is Sayaratu doing here? As Sayaratu. Badal. Oh, where is our khabar? Li Aliyun. What is Li Aliyun? Jar Majru. Shibu Jumla. Got the idea? Oh, next one. But tilka, what is tilka? Wow is ataf. What is tilka? Muftada. There is no badal here. Huh? And where is the khabar? Li Khalid din. Huh? See, Li has come. Arf jar ism majroor. Huh? Very good. Huh? Sister Faiza, you will be able to do inshallah. Hadal babu aftu hun. Can you do it? Haza al-babu maftun. What is haza? Haza is the muftada. Muftada. Al-babu. Badal. Badal. Not badal, huh? Badal. <laughs> okay. And then, where is the khabar? Maftun. Maftun, mashallah. Wa dhalika al-babu. Wa'u is ataf. What is dhalika? Dhalika is the muftada. Muftada. Al-babu is the khabar. Badal. Badal because al babu. And where is the khabar? Mughlakun. Close. MashaAllah. Excellent. Um, next one is Liman uh, Hadi Saatu. It's a question, so we do not uh, attempt our analysis. Huh? But let us try to uh, uh, translate it. Huh? Let us try to translate it. Nusrat. Liman Hadi Saatu. How will you translate? Watch belongs. Very good. Now comes a statement. Hiya li abasin. So what is hiya? Uh, what is li abasin? Uh-huh. Mashallah. Excellent. Okay. Now the same thing is ahadal baitu lit tabibi. What is the translation, Sister Mainas? Yeah. Is this house belongs to tabi? Huh? What is the answer? La. Uh, harfu nafi or harfu jawab. Uh, okay, it's a particle. Hua lil mudarris. So where is muftada? Hua. Where is khabar? Lil mudarris. What is lil mudarris? Shibu jumla khabar. MashaAllah. Sister Nasri, again a question. You will only try to translate it. Ahadhi darajatu libnil muazzini. Bicycle belongs to the son of Muazin. What is the answer? Naam. You try one more sentence. Man hazal waladu. What is the translation? Ah, who is this boy? Hazal waladu. What is the answer? Who are? Talibun. From Iraq. Iraq, okay. What is Huwa? Muftida. What is Talibun? Khabar and Minal Iraq? Jar Majur. That's it. Because we already got our Khabar, we do not have to say Shibu Jumala Khabar, no. Right. Okay. <coughs> now, Sister uh, Memuna, you will translate, Sister? Yes. Is this house? New, yes. La. No. Who are Mufrida? 
Yes, and what is jiddan? It's a mansub, berry. It's a mansub. We will learn soon, inshallah. In book two, I will start explaining them little bit by little to you. Sister Arifa, uh, you will do number 11, sister. You will translate it and then analyze it. Huh? Okay. Yes. Mashallah. And what is Mashallah. Mashallah. Uh, it will be nice. You should say, Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Jar, both of them. Huh? You, you know, you said, Fi Harf Jar, and you said, no, you said beautifully, perfectly. Fi Harf Jar, or Min Harf Jar, and Al Yabani is a Majur. But then, we say, Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. If you say Jar Majur, it's better. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Later on, we won't say Min Harf Jar, Al Yabani Isim Majur. But if you say Min, min, min Al Yabani, Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar, good enough. MashaAllah, that was very beautiful. Okay. And then brother, uh, uh, brother Hassan. Huh? Almania, Malakatu, Min Inkal Tarra, Tilkal Mil Akatu, Marfu. Yes, brother. Muftada, As Sikinu, Badal, Min Minarfa, okay. Almania, Isha Majur. Yeah. Then, where is the khabar? Jar majroor? Together? Jar majroor. No, min almania, jar majroor, shibu jumla, khabar. And then, wow is ataf. And what is tilk? Tilka is mubtada. And what is al mil akatu? Badal. And where is the khabar? Min in kaltarra. Jar majroor, shibu jumla, khabar. Is it clear, inshallah? So it's a salma, huh? inshallah. Okay, now next exercise, brother. We have to do it in this format. Hadha kitabun, and then hadha kitabu li Muhammadin. Okay? So every time you see a, on your right hand side a page number 44, what do you see? Hadha tabibun. Now you will change that into Hadha tabibun. Huh? Okay. Uh, brother Abdul Samad, first is yours, brother. Hadha tabibun min al Hindi. Yeah. Hadha. Brother? Yes. Tabib. Badal. Badal. Min al Hindi. I want you to say the sentence again. Did you make an error? Everybody in the class? Mashallah. If it is Al, no Bun. See, see, everybody is very sharp now. The moment you say Tabi Bun, their eyebrows went up. Hazat Tabib. Alhamdulillah. See, now our mind is, you know, understanding that when there is a definite noun, you cannot have Tanween. But then, inshallah, you will become expert. Mashallah, that was good. Brother Salman. Hazi Sayaratu. Mashallah. And what will be the khabar? Lil Mudarishi. Lil. Mudarishi. Lil Mudi. Sorry. Lil Mudi. Jar Majur Shibujima. MashaAllah. Excellent. You have a good understanding. 
Brother Abdul Kadir. So it is Zahalika Waladul. What will happen now? Zahalika Waladu Ibnul Mudarrishi. Now tell me how do you analyze this, brother? Zahalika Muptida Al Waladu Badal. No, there is no Jahar Mashru. See, no. You cannot get used to it that every sentence cover will be Jahar Majur. Huh? Huh? Ibnul Mudarrisi. Where is the khabar? Sister Abir? I have a question. Yes. You have a question? I want an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so your question has to wait. Huh? Oh, Ibn is uh, khabar. Ibnu, Ibnu only is khabar. Why there is a single Dhamma there? Because it is Mudah. You got to be sharp. Abdul Qadir, Ibnul Mudarisi is Mudaf Mudafilehi. So where is our khabar? If the khabar is one word, khabar is marfu. So the khabar is Ibnu. Wahua Mudaf. And then Mudarisi Mudafilehi. Got to be sharp. Huh? Otherwise, be prepared to bring samosas. You know? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, Brother Muhammad. Huh? Tilka Sa'atun. Yeah. Tilka Sa'atu. Tilka Sa'atu. Means Suisara. Suisara, yes. Tilka Ismu Ishara. Yes. Arfujar. No. Tilka Ismu Ishara. Muftada. Very good. Sa'atu, Asa'atu, Badal. Badal. Min Arfujar. Yes. Suisara. Isam Majru. So Shibu Jumla. Jar Majru. Jar Majru. Shibu Jumla. Khabar. Brother and sisters, time to time, uh, refer the hand, handout, page 23, 24, 25, 26. They, they have, we have given you simple analysis. Huh? Try to read it from time to time. Sister Abir, what is your question? Um, for the third one, right? Third one, yes. Uh, I thought it would be Zalika Valadun because it has to be definite, right? Right now, it is indefinite. Zalika Valadun. This is a boy. Now, according to, to the uh, example that has been given, and we have to change our sentences according to that, so we have to use now, instead of saying, this is a boy, you have to change it into this boy. How do you change this boy? From this is a boy to this boy. Zalikal waladu. What will you change to? Zalikal waladu. Now, is this a complete sentence? No. Zalika waladum was a complete sentence. Muktada khabar. Now, Zalika waladu is not a complete sentence. This boy, tell me more about this boy. I am waiting for you to uh, give little more news, okay? So, Zalika will be Muktada. Hmm? And Al waladu will be Badal. Now comes the khabar. Who is this boy? He is. Ibnul Mudarrishi. So what is Ibnul Mudarrishi? Mudaf, Mudafili. Huh? We need khabar to be marfu. So how much is marfu? Ibnu. And that is your khabar. Wahua, Mudaf. And then Mudaf, Ilehi. Is it clear? Shall I write down and show you? So that is indefinite. <laughs> Dun is indefinite. Oh, Al -wa you got it? Huh? It's very important. Huh? That's why I, I always tell you Dun Dan Din. Okay? If it is a Tanween, it is indefinite. If it is Al, then it is definite. When Al comes, Tanween has to go away. Huh? Only single. When Tanmin comes, you cannot have Al. Are you with me? When Tanmin comes, there is no Al. You cannot say Al Waladun. Okay. See? Waladun. Is it definite and indefinite? Why? There is a Tanmin there. Tanmin is a, tanmin is a sign of indefiniteness. Okay. Now, how do I make definite? Al-waladu. Huh? Single. 
tamma at the end. Al has come. If I say al waladun, it will be wrong. Because you cannot have al and tanwin together. They cannot coexist. Only one has to come. Are you with me? So indefinite and definite. Indefinite, definite. Okay? Only in the proper noun, Al will not come. If you say Muhammadun, Al will not come. Are you with me? If you say Ammarun, Al will not come. If you say Abbasun, Al will not come. If you say Aminatu, Al will not come. If you say Fatimatu, Al will not come. Are you with me? Al will not come. Okay? So, we have to be careful. Proper nouns, will have tanmin and when they have tanmin even then they are always always definite never indefinite proper nouns are definite okay and i hinted you all pronouns are definite haza is definite all smusharas are definite all the pronouns that we do in the morning huwa huma hum they are all definite Okay, brothers and sisters, uh, you did, brother. Now, the rest, I think I will do quickly. Huh? Did you do Hazal Baitu, Brother Muhammad? Hazal uh, Baitu. okay. Hazal Baitu. Now, I'm doing it quickly. Hazal huh? Baitu, Lil Mohandisin. So, Hazal Muptada, Al Baitu, Badal. Lil Mohandisin, Jar Wazul, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Hazal Kalamu, Li Abbasin. Now you can analyze a little bit later on. Zalika Rajulu. See, the pattern is to put Al after Zalika or Haza or Hazihi and make the noun into Badal. Zalika Rajulu, Mozinun. That person is. Muazin. Hadhil Baidatu Kabiratun. This egg is big. Okay. Hadhal Mindilu Wasikun. Are you with me? This handkerchief is dirty. Hadhil Hakibatu Lil Mudarrisi. This handbag is for the teacher. Okay. Misal again, brother. لِمَنْ هَذَا الْكِتَابُ هَذَا الْكِتَابُ لِمُحُمَدِينَ See now, all these exercises, brothers, are for us to get used to using Li as a harf chair. These exercises are for us to use Li as a harf chair and get used to it. Okay? So, we have been given picture and at the left side, there is a name. Now we have to use Li. Okay? And we have to make the question on the pattern of Liman Hazal Kitabu. Okay, brother Muhammad, what will be the first question? Liman Hazal Kalamu. Liman Hazal Kalamu, mashallah. Then what will be your answer? Hazal Kalamu Li Muhammadin. Mashallah. Li Abbasin, okay? Now I'm sure you can analyze it. As I said, we will not analyze each sentence in the book. Some we will do, the rest I, I leave it up to you to. Think about it, huh? Okay. From time to time, we'll analyze it. Huh? Brother Abdul Qadir, look at the picture and what do you see after Kalam? Do you see book? Do you see car? Huh? Do you see house? What do you see? Key. key. So what do you say key in Arabic? Mirtha. So make a sentence, brother. Be quick. Liman hazal miftahu. Of course. Why will you say miftahi? Any reason for saying liman hazal miftahi? No, miftahu. I want you to say the last thing properly. Huh? In this book, Dr. Saab, Abdurrahim, Dr. Abdurrahim, recommends that we use the last vowel signs to understand what's going on in the sentence. Okay? Otherwise you will never know what's going on. Don't then then has to be mentioned properly for us to understand. Okay. Yes, brother Salman. Yes. 
Muril Mudiri, mashallah, mashallah. Did you see how he answered? Ah, careful, huh, brother? Brother Abdus Samad? Huh? Yes. Bakara tu. Lil Lil Falahi. Lil Falahi. Got the idea, brother and sister? Mashallah. Brother Muhammad? Uh, oh, uh, Brother Hassan. I'm sorry, yeah? because you did it. Huh? Brother Hassan? Liman Hazi Hill. Hill Hakiba too? Okay. Well, Mudarishi. That's the way I want you to answer, huh? please. Number six, Nusrat? Mashallah. Li, li amarin. Liman hazal kursiyu, hazal kursiyu, li amarin. Okay. Sister Mayanas? Yes. Alihil dajajatu. Li. La, li bin til fallah. Eh? Because there is no alif lam at bin. Li bin til fallah. Mashallah. Excellent. Sister Nasreen? Yes. No, liman had is saatu. Yeah. Mashallah. Now you see. Ibn is Hamzatul Wasal. So what will you say? Would you bring Li in front of Hamzatul Wasal? What will you do? Sister Nasreen? You will say Libni. Huh? You will say Libnil Mudi. Libnil Mudiri. Huh? Inshallah. Sister Maimuna? Huh? Tabibi. Mashallah. Sister Arifa? Yes. Let the be. And now you know how to analyze, inshallah. Huh? You will be able to analyze it. Okay, brother. And these, these are some of the nouns. They don't change their form. Okay. If I say to you, al baitu, it is marfu. I can see the dhamma there. Then, fi harfjar comes. Harfjar is a majroor. So it will be fil baiti. And then minal baiti. And then Ilal Baiti. Very good. Now Al Mustashfa. Do you see Dhamma there? No. There is no Dhamma there, brother. When we come to book three, at that time, you will be able to see the Dhamma there. There is a Dhamma. Right now we cannot see. Our eyes are not ready. But when you come to book three, you will see Dhamma there. Huh? Inshallah. So what is Al Mustashfa Marfu. Fil Mustashfa Majroor. But I don't see. But I know it is fee, so it has to be Majroor. Huh? Then Minal Mustashfa, I don't see Kasra at the end. But I know it is Majroor because Min is there. Huh? And then Ilal Mustashfa is same Jal Majroor. Amrika, I don't see Dhamma there. Fee, but there is a Dhamma there. Fi Amrika, Minal Min Amrika, and Ila Amrika. These are all Majroor. Huh? Almania, Fi Almania, Minal Almania, Ila Almania. Very good, brothers and sisters. Next one. Ikra Waktu. Do you want me to do it or I should now go forward? Uh, inshallah, I should go forward. Huh? Okay. Now I will again briefly repeat the uh, Nath Manut, brothers and sisters. There is still, it is on the board. So, uh, look at it, brother. We want to finish today this whole Nath and do quite a li little bit more, inshallah. Brother, adjectives are nouns in Arabic. What are they? They come in the category of nouns because they decline. Huh? Anything that declines huh, is a noun in Arabic that you will observe. That why did it is called noun? Because it declines. Okay? 
only nouns, huh? not verbs. Verb, brothers and sisters, are you listening? Fail madi is mabni. It never has any changes. But fail modarya, present tense, undergo changes. But then we do not say the fail declines. Then we say the moods of the fail. That we are going to learn in book two, inshallah. Everything is so fascinating and interesting, brother. Alhamdulillah. So here we have adjectives. There are two things. Whenever there is an adjective, not, there is a noun qualified. And what is noun qualified? Manahul. I have written here sifatun or sifa. That is also same thing as na. So if you have sifatun, then it will become mausuf. Huh? Same thing, non qualified. Huh? This is an extra, uh, you know, na, uh, name for the. Okay, four things have to be there. They will always match naat and manut in gender. Huh? If the naat is if the manut is mudakkar, naat will be mudakkar. What's the sifa? You said sifa. Ji? You said if it's sifa, uh, it should be mausu. Uh, no, brother. Here. There is a lot to learn more about these. In book three, we will know exactly how the world were made. Yeah. We, we, we would know how the words were mean. Brother Farooq, naat means adjective. Another word in Arabic for adjective is sifat. Manaut is noun qualified. Another word for manaut is mausuf. Same thing. Are you with me? I just wrote it down so you know that it is, it has got two words in Arabic. We will be using most of the time naat. If then Manood is masculine, naat will be masculine. If manood is feminine, naat will be feminine. If the manood is singular, naat will be singular. Okay, dual and plural. If the manood is definite, naat will be definite. If the manood is marfu, naat will be marfu. These four things are to be taken into consideration. Okay, when you write something, you will always consider these things, okay? But in the Quran, you will be able to figure out, inshallah. Okay? I really want to give you an example before the day is over uh, about something from the Quran. Okay. Man hadar rajulu, how do you pronounce, uh, translate, brothers and sisters? Man hadar rajulu, sister Salma? Man, huh? See, hadar rajulu, this man. Hadar Rajulu, this man. Who is this man? Huwa Abbasun. <clears throat> Are you with me? Huwa Abbasun. Muftada Khabar? Okay. Abbasun Tajirun. Abbas is a merchant. Huh? See, Abbas is a definite noun. Huh? It's a Muftada. And Tajirun is indefinite. Not for the first time. What is it? Abbasun Tajirun Ghaniyan. So what is it? Abbas is a rich merchant. In English, the naat comes before manut. But in Arabic, the naat will come after manut. Huh? Which is very logical, brother. Let the manut come and then we tell you what the manut is. Okay? So, Abbasun Muftida, Tajirun, Khabar. And what is Ghaniyun? Naat. No. When you describe, we will we won't say manut any time. We will just say naat. Huh? Fine. But you know what is manut and where the manut is. Hamidun mudarisun. Hamid is a teacher. Hamidun mudarisun jadidun. So what is jadidun here? Naat. Is it clear? Huh? Inshallah. Mahada hada. Tuffahun, Mubtada Khabar. At Tuffahu, Mubtada. Where is the Khabar? Fakihatun. It's a fruit. But what kind of fruit? Ladizatun. See, can you see? Fakihatun, Ladizatun. Are you with me, brother? Abdul Qadir? You cannot say Fakihatun, Ladiza. 
you will say laziza when you are talking. But in our class, we will say lazizatun because we want to know that you understand that it is marfu. Huh? Okay. Ma zalika, zalika usfurun. Okay, that is a sparrow. Al usfuru, the sparrow. Tairun, sahirun. Sahirun is a knot. Al Arbiyatu, most delicious, most fair, most uh, beautiful sentence in the book. Al huh? Arbiyatu, Logatun, Sahalatun. Are you with me? What is the translation? Arabic is easy, is an easy language. So what is Logatun? Khabar. What is Sahalatun? Not. Fine, well. Next one, Al Arbiyatu, Logatun, Jamilatun. Are you with me, brothers? Jamilatun. Okay. <coughs> now, what is Jamilatun? Not. Okay. Ammarun, Talibun, Mujtahidun. Huh? But Abdul Qadir, see, I'm always saying Mujtahidun, Talibun. So you have to in the class say that. Because one day you will start teaching. Then you got to use this method. If you teach student, if you'll start teaching a student, Ammar, Talib, Mujtahid. Then they won't understand what's going on in the sentence. And you said it correct. If I say Ammar, Talib, Mujtahid, it's correct. But then people won't understand. Whether it is Marfu, what's going on here. So we, in the class, we learn properly and we, when you will stand up to teach, you will, inshallah, teach properly. Okay. Wa mahmudun talibun kaslanu, single word, kaslanu. Okay. Man anta ana talibun. Fine. Mubtada khabar. No, not. Anta talibun jadidun, now comes khabar. Naam ana talibun jadidun. Jadidun is your khabar. Ikra waktub. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ikra waktub. Sister Salma, first sentence is yours. You will only tell me, you will translate, and you will tell me where the naat is. Huh? Ready? Muhammadun Talibun Qadimun. Yes. Muhammad is student. Yes. Where is the naat? Qadimun. Qadimun. And where is the manut? Talibun. Huh? Keep that in mind also. Sister Abir, next one. Yes. Um, is there a knot there? Yeah. Where is it? Mashallah. Very good. Answer? Um, yes. So um, the knot is Jadidah. Very good. Good enough. Sister Sukhaina, uh, number third is yours. Yes. Sahalun is the knot. Please translate. Huh? No, you, you translated incorrectly. What did you say? This lesson. This lesson when you say it means Hazad Darsu. Are you with me? This is an easy lesson. Now you know why? Brother, when you make mistake, it's normal. We learn from our mistakes. See, as soon as you say this lesson, no, 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 no. This lesson means Hazad Darsu. But it says, Hada Darsun. Are you with me? So you got to be careful. Fine. So Sanaima? Hmm? Very good. Not. What is the translation? Mashallah. Abbasun is a favorite, famous marcha. Sister Faiza? Yes. Um, not. not, yes. What is the translation? Big in China. Al Hada Sahihun? Is this correct? I'm asking her this question. Naam Hada Sahihun. Why, you know, brothers and sisters? Fawzad's husband's name is Bilal. 
and he's an engineer. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Uh, it, it, this sentence came in, uh, you know, a sequence. I did not choose this sentence for her, you know. Jiddan. 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 Yes, mashallah. Okay. And Nusrat? Yeah. Sabatun. Yes. English? English is a difficult language. When you say English language, it became Logatul Inglesiatu. Don't know. English is a difficult language. So Sabatun is the not. Yeah, is the not. Nashal. Okay, sister. Minus. Yes. Yes. Yeah, rich man, yes. Where is the Nath? Nahi, is yes. So where is the Nath? Fakiro. Got the idea? And Manut is Rajulu. Very good. So Sister What did you say, sister? Say it loudly. Kahiratu. See, you cannot have al and tun. Huh? Don't worry, it's normal to make mistakes, brother. Al kahiratu. Madinatun. Kabiratun. Huh? Mashallah. Where is the nath? Very good. And then, yes, that's very good. Huh? A translation. Cairo, city. Yeah? See, big came in the first, in, in, uh, uh, the adjective came first, but in Arabic, it will come after. Uh, Sister uh, Memuna? Yes. 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 Yes, there is the nath in both cases. Kadimun? Yes, yes. Jadidun. And there is Manut. Mudadis. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Um, Sister Arifa? Yes. 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 Nas. And. Hardworking student. So Mujtahidun is not. Where is Manut? Talibun. And in the first question, where is the not? Kaslanu. Mashallah, you got it. Huh? Okay.